Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Kid Good at Open Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. In this episode I will show you how to make a triple launch coaster. Now a triple launch coaster is something you will see in uh, modern parks more and more. Basically it's a coaster which first gets launched forward, then goes again backwards, and then gets launched forward another time uh, until it finally uh, makes it through the rest of the track. There's uh, several ways to uh, to accomplish this and in this video I will show you three ways to do it. So here's an example that I made in my uh, space based park. It's a park that's, uh, that I will show in another uh, showcase video. But yeah, uh, this is the same, uh, same layout that I also used in uh, my park called uh, the Great Circle, which was in the, the showcase video I released a few days ago. So yeah, I, I like this design so much, I put it in several parks. Anyway, let's now uh, skip to another example of a triple launch coaster. Okay, here you see a dynamite blaster. It's another uh, triple launch coaster uh, that I made. This one uh, doesn't have a continuous track, but it has a spike here at the back. And then at the end, the normal track merges again. Here with the yeah, with the launch track, so that's another way to do it. Anyway, I will now uh, go to the park where I prepared several examples. Okay, here's the park uh, where I have the three uh, types of triple launch coasters that I made for my examples. So here you can see the layout that I made for the that I put in the Great Circle and the Space Base Park. So basically you can use floorless trains or the twisted trains. It just has four uh, booster pieces here in the front, which don't quite get it up the hill, then it goes backwards. And then it, then it gets launched uh, up again, now with enough speed to make it over the hill. It's called the triple launch coaster in, rea in real life. It will actually also get launched uh, while going backwards. But in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, this is not uh, not quite possible in a simple way. So the backward launch uh, will just have to be done in your imagination. Here's another type of uh, triple launch coaster. So in the previous one, the launch happened through the station. Here the launch happens on a separate uh, launch track, so from the station it first travels through, uh, to a launch track where it gets launched and then it moves on to the rest of the track. You could also use this with uh, this design with uh, block brakes for example, just to make it a little bit uh, nicer and you can always have a train waiting in the station. And finally, here's another type. This is the same type as uh, what I used for a dynamite blaster. So this one also has the launch track through the station, but uh, finally at the end it merges again with the normal track. So let's. Uh, I will just now show you how to, to build uh, one of these. Let's start with the first one. This is uh, quite an easy design to make and I like putting it in my parts. So first uh, we'll just put uh, four station pieces. We'll just put four booster pieces at a maximum speed, 107. And then we'll just build up. And we'll build down again. We'll put a large half loop. Uh, nice cobra roll. Well, we go back to here. Now here we just put some straight track. Normally I hide this piece of the track just with a tunnel to make it look less uh, boring. And here we'll put a large half loop. I put it a little bit too far. Still a little bit too far. That. You need zero clearance, by the way, to build this. Disable clearance checks. 
and here we'll continue from this side let's go up put a large half loop a barrel roll and we'll go down like this and we'll continue like this now this coaster actually doesn't have enough speed to make it over the last uh, through the last inversion so you'll have to hide a booster piece here somewhere No, I don't really like uh, putting putting short uh, booster pieces in my coaster, so what I'll often do is just hide this piece to a corrupt element and we'll just build a new seal twister in, in the other direction, like that. This color is the same. And no one will notice there's a booster piece there. Now, uh, if you do the la triple launch through the station, then if you if we test it now, you will see it it won't work. It goes up the first hill like it should, goes back through the station, and it will just stop here. That's not what we want. So in order to make it work, we need to make the number of circuits three. And if we make it uh, three circuits, then it will uh, only then it will work as intended. So as you can see now, it makes it through the station and makes it over the hill. If you uh, put one or two circuits, it will just uh, stop in the station again. So that's not uh, what we want. And now it will make it back to the station. So yeah, if you use this method for your triple launch, you just have to uh, tweak it a bit and make sure you make a hill that it doesn't make over the first time, and make one that it that you are sure it will make over uh, the second time with the with the booster speed that you used. It may uh, take some tweaking if you use a different design than uh, this one. But this is just a design that I really like. So yeah, what's most important to remember is to uh, put it to three circuits. Now, with this design where the, co where the launch track is a separate track from and not going, doing the, not going through the station, then you don't have to change the number of circuits because uh, yeah that only matters if you go through the station so here we only use uh, one circuit I think this is the easiest method uh, to use so in order to build this uh, this triple launch coaster I will only show you now how to make the launch track so we'll just put a station here like this and uh, we'll just put uh, just a few straight pieces, then we'll put an S-band, we'll put uh, boosters here, let's put them to the maximum speed. Then we'll delete the S-band and we'll just continue building boosters backwards. And we'll build the spike here. And of course we can continue building the track here. So we would build the top hat here, etc. And now with uh, clearance check disabled, we'll just build an S-band here. And we're done, it will now work uh, as intended. If uh, for some reason you notice that the roller coaster will actually follow the S-band uh, when it goes backwards because you built them in the wrong order, just go to Tile Inspector. And at the place where the tracks meet, just uh, change the order. You can do this uh, with these arrows. Just change which track is on top and which track is on the bottom. That should uh, change the track to which the roller coaster goes when it goes uh, travels back backwards. Now, and actually, the same goes for this uh, coaster. Um, just build the track like normal, and at the end, you just uh, build an S-band into the original track 
and it should work as intended. And if it doesn't, just change the order of the tracks uh, where they meet. Now, you may also notice this uh, white line here that I put on the coaster, which look like these uh, LSM uh, motors, these launch, uh, launch fins. Um, these are also easy to make, uh, so this is not actually completely uh, a launch, uh, an actual booster through the station, but this is just uh, for uh, aesthetics. So to make a, a launch track like this, I will just uh, uh, I'll put it here. So for that we use the mini suspended coaster. So we'll just start the track like this. And we'll just make it a little bit higher. And like that. We just place it over the original coaster track, make it white. We go to Tile Inspector and we move the track under surface to hide the supports. Like that. And there you have it. Uh, now your launch track looks uh, even more fancy. And the launch track now it looks like it extends into the station. Now, you don't really have to use a uh, straight track, for example, on the example I showed before with a dynamite blaster. I actually put uh, the station on top of a hill and booster pieces before and after the hill. And I put a mini suspended coaster going through it. So it looked something like... Uh, so it was uh, there I used the Giga Coaster. So. So uh, the booster track going like this. Then we had a station. And here we had two more boosters. And there I also just put a mini suspended coaster. Like this. And like that, let me just make it white, and we'll hide the supports. And then it looks like that. So yeah, that's also something you see on more and more modern coasters. Uh, in the, in the past they always had straight launch tracks, but more and more you will see that the, the launch tracks are actually, uh, actually have an airtime hill in the middle, which uh, adds a great experience to the ride. Anyway, this was my tutorial on the triple launch coasters. I hope uh, you enjoyed it and I hope that it was uh, useful for you. And I hope to see you again in the next video. See you later.